The monkeypox outbreak, a research group has created a representation of monkeypox cases in our area using wastewater. Wastewater scan, an offshoot of the sewer coronavirus alert network commonly known as SCAN, uses data from researchers to share the risk of community spread. This is the data from July showing the presence of monkeypox in a number of Northern California cities. San Francisco, Davis and Sacramento are all having their wastewater tested for this study. According to their site, when monkeypox is detected in wastewater, it means that at least one person in that community is shedding it. And wastewater monitoring is a really useful technique, in fact, for tracking a virus. You don't have to rely on individuals getting tested to get a sense of the outbreak. But it can only tell you so much of the story. Testing is just as important, so health officials can know who's sick, who's close contact, and where these outbreaks are happening. ABC 10 has been keeping track of the number of cases across the state. These are the counties with the most confirmed cases in our area. Sacramento has 65 confirmed cases right now, and that's the sixth most in the state behind Los Angeles County, San Francisco County and San Diego County. California is getting closer to 1500 cases, second in the country to only New York. And nationally, monkeypox is now considered a public health emergency. And while most cases are still men who have sex with men, more and more people that don't fit that description are getting the disease. There's at least one case in every state right now. So health officials are urging those who are eligible to get the vaccine, but there isn't always enough supply. ABC's, ABC's Mola Lenghi explains. The Biden administration has declared monkeypox a public health emergency in order to help bolster the federal response. Monkeypox might not have made it into the health emergency category, except we've just been through COVID. We saw what happened with a kind of, let's say, sluggish response to the initial COVID outbreak. Since the first U.S. monkeypox case was identified in May, there are now more than 7,500 cases across 48 states. 20-year-old Camille Seaton is recovering from the virus. I just want to let y'all know that I did not do anything sexual to contract this disease. This is this is spreading like it's he, it's here. After hearing her story, Darnell McAlpin decided to get the vaccine. Seeing it, someone in Georgia have it on her face, I think just seeing the scarring and like the what monkeypox does to you really just made me even more willing to get the shot. Demand for vaccines is outpacing supplies. The number one thing that is needed to my mind is additional doses of vaccine. The CDC says nearly 1.7 million people in the U.S. are now eligible for the monkeypox vaccine. So far, about 600,000 doses have gone out nationwide, with 1.1 million total expected in the coming weeks. The FDA is looking at a new approach that could potentially lead to a five-fold increase in the U.S. supply of the vaccine by giving it in smaller, shallower injections under the skin, allowing up to five doses per vial. This is a pretty common in medicine. We learn new things about vaccines, about treatments, about dosing, and that's what the FDA is looking at right now. The White House has said all options are on the table, including the Defense Production Act, if the administration determines it would help with the vaccine supply. Mola Lenghi, ABC News, New York.